Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you today, Jader? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Pretty good, thank you. Just a little bit worried because it's raining and it is somehow affecting the sign up. The connection to internet is kind of difficult. <laughs> But yes. fortunately, I could connect and you too, as I see. And thank you for asking. Uh, how are you doing? Have you thought about any topic that you would like to review before we finish? Any topic that you would like to review before we finished? Yes, este, la parte esa donde con like, eh, que ponen like al final para, para eh, decir las características de, de una persona o de un lugar. Ok, like. Ok, like for descriptions. Ok. Any other topic that you would like to review? No? No more ideas? Okay, so in this part, gather yeah, is very simple. We can do it now with like and uh, let's see. Like is a verb and it, it's like, like, right? Like is a, normalmente nosotros lo Como más se usa es para decir que algo no gusta, ¿verdad? You can say, I like, I like, what, what I like, I like to, I like to drink coffee, it's my favorite drink. I, I drink like a cup of coffee a day, so I like to drink coffee. Usamos like normalmente para hablar de algo que nos gusta, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero like tiene otras funciones. Like también se utiliza para comparar. ¿Ya? Yes? Sí. You can say, if I ask the, do you know this word, mermaid? ¿Conocen esta palabra, mermaid? Sirena. Yes. Imaginemos que usted no sabe qué es mermaid. Entonces yo le digo, a mermaid is like a fish. Fish half human and, uh, and half Fish. Ok, so le estoy diciendo a mermaid, digamos que usted dice, what is a mermaid? Quiere saber qué es una sirena, pero yo no les sé explicar, le, le voy a comparar para explicarle un poco. Entonces yo le digo a mermaid is like a, like a fish, es como un pescado. It's pescado. like a fish, half human and half fish. Y ya le expliqué. Ajá. Una sirena es como, es como un pescado. Mitad humano y mitad pescado. Entonces, en este sentido, like está funcionando para hacer una comparación. No estoy hablando de gustos como en la primera, ¿verdad? No. Sino que es para describirle qué es mermaid. Ah, mermaid is like a fish, right? Human, half fish. You say, ah, I got it. Ah, yeah. Like para hacer comparaciones. Ahora like también es utilizado para hacer descripciones. Normalmente cuando usted uh, es like para hacer una descripción, like va al final. 
Eva, what is your neighborhood like? Uh -huh. En este caso, no estoy diciendo que me gusta, no estoy comparando, sino que estoy pidiendo una descripción. Okay, normalmente es al final. Uh -huh. Entonces digo, ¿cómo es tu vecindario? Oh, it is, it is very, it's very big, es un lugar muy grande, it's very big. Uh, es tranquilo, quiet, it's very big, quiet, the weather, the weather is, is really hot. Entonces ya lo describí. What is your neighborhood like? Oh, it is very big, quiet, and the weather is really hot. Y cuando hablamos de persona, porque también hablaba de, de, de persona. Sí, solo sustituimos aquí. Pero Quiero saber decía cómo de, es su mamá. Que hablaba de, de que, ajá, de que no era físico, sino que ah, características. Esta ¿verdad? es para, para características, para personalidad es what is. Ajá. Para características. Um, and you start my mother. My mother is very patient. Person. Este es para características. Yes, personales, personalidad. Is very patient. She's a good person. Le gusta hablar mucho. She is talkative. Ah, es platicona. <laughs> My mother uh, is very patient. She's a very good person. She is talkative. Mm, and that's it. Y ahí puede continuar. Ahora, si quiere describir a una persona físicamente, la pregunta varía un poco. Pero el like siempre va al final. What? Is la misma, digamos, your mother like. Siempre el like va a ir de último acá. Entonces ahí estoy preguntándole cómo es su mamá físicamente. Entonces ahí me describe cómo es ella por fuera, por decirlo en salvadoreño. She is short, es pequeña. Um, a little overweight, es un poquito pasadita de peso, a little overweight. A little overweight. Uh, she has, o puedo decir si sí, su cabello, her hair, back. Una pregunta. Es, es negro y liso. Yes. No hay, no hay diferencia entre la primer What is your mother like que en esta otra que está subiendo después. Ok, Carlos. Usted se conectó hace poquito, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, sí. Ok. Al, les pedí que me hicieran una lista o que me repasaran toda la plataforma, solo me, mirar los temas, no que vuelvan a hacer todo. Miren los temas o miren sus apuntes y que me digan algún tema que necesitan que les explique un poco más o que sientan que se les dificulta. Entonces, Yader me dijo de este tema, que este creo que fue cuando estábamos haciendo descripciones de personas. Sí. Entonces me preguntó cómo saber de, de los usos de like. Yo le explicaba que like lo conocemos como un verbo que normalmente lo utilizamos para decir que algo nos gusta. 
¿verdad? Como el ejemplo que está ahí, I like to drink coffee. Me gusta beber café. Estoy hablando de sí. mis gustos, de mis preferencias. Y para hacerlo negativo digo, I don't like. I don't like to drink soda. No me gusta beber soda. Para I like to drink coffee. Ahí estoy hablando de gustos. Luego les explicaba que también like se utiliza para hacer comparaciones. Y les dije la palabra mermaid. Imagino que usted no sabe qué es mermaid. Y usted me pregunta, what is a mermaid? What is a mermaid? Me dice, ¿qué, qué, es, qué es mermaid? What is a mermaid? Ah, y yo le respondo, a mermaid is like a fish. Half human and half fish. Entonces ya le respondí que una sirena es como, es como, como un pescado. Mitad humano y mitad pescado. Entonces es, a mermaid is like a fish. Aquí no estoy diciendo una sirena es gustar un pescado. Así diría si lo quiero traducir. Pero en mi cabeza está que ahí el, el like está funcionando para hacer una comparación, porque de otro modo no tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí like, comparación. Aquí like, gustos. Ahora aquí el like, cuando usamos like para hacer una descripción, normalmente va al final de la pregunta. Si yo quiero saber sí. cómo es su mamá, pero yo, hay dos formas. ¿Cómo es su mamá? ¿De qué quiere saber? ¿Quiere saber cómo es su personalidad? ¿Cómo es ella como persona? ¿O te la describo físicamente por fuera? Ok. Uh, la uh -huh. primera es para describir a la persona sus rasgos, sus características de personalidad. Eso en inglés se llama personality traits. Vamos a poner aquí... Uh -huh. Esta es para describir per, ay, personality. Yo me muero de hambre digitando. Personality. Ok. What is your mother like? Esa pregunta es para... Ah. Y la de abajo es igual. No. Aquí me equivoqué. Ajá, ahí estaba el detalle. Okay. What does... Uh -huh. Your mother like. look like. Si sí es correctamente. Uh -huh. What does your mother look like? Es que no puedo escribir y hablar. Yo me muero de hambre escribiendo, de verdad. Esta oh, yeah. oh, es para apariencia física. Por fuera. Appearance. Physical mm -hmm. appearance. Uh -huh. Physical appearance. Esa es la diferencia, don Carlos. Oh, yeah. Sí, es que veía lo mismo oh, yeah. arriba. Que uh -huh, arriba. Sí, perdón, perdón, de verdad me equivoqué ahí. Escribí lo mismo. Okay. Uh -huh. Cuando usted quiera saber cómo es alguien personalidad, what is, y ahí le variamos, what is your mother like, what is your boss like, what is your wife like, what is your son like, what is your daughter like, pero si es physical appearance, la pregunta es, what does, aquí el sujeto, y luego look like. Okay. No sé si okay, ahora está you. un poco más claro, Yader. Sí, hoy sí. Gracias. Ok, perfecto. Ahora los demás, si no se les ocurre, bueno, esto porque lo puedo explicar así, solo escribir. Eh, si no, no necesito mucho para explicarlo. Les queda como tarea, Yader, hacer ejemplos. Usar like para expresar gustos. Usar like okay. para hacer comparación, usar like para describir personalidad y like para describir apariencia. En su cuadernito póngase ya de ejercitar. Sí, está bien. Okay. Okay. Porque inglés es práctica. 
entre más lo practica, más se le va quedando y facilitando. Ok. Y los demás, no sé si tienen algún tema ya pensado para que lo repasemos. Si no han pensado aún, pueden hacer entre este fin de semana, repasen sus apuntes para que de repente uno no se acuerda ni todo lo que ha visto en el módulo, pero de repente, ah, este tema no lo entendí mucho. Me lo hacen saber el lunes, ¿ok? Sí. Ok. Okay. All right, uh, let's continue. Yesterday we were talking about pool. But now we will continue with the section number five because we already finished section four. Today we're going to start section five. For this, we need to know a little bit more vocabulary. And I have this presentation for you. Okay. Sports and competition. This is vocabulary. We're going to get a little bit more vocabulary about the sports and competitions. Let's start. Sports and competitions. We have the first picture. What sport is this? Can you mention it? Tennis. Let us see. Volleyball. Uh huh. That's volleyball. Next. Soccer. Football. Soccer. Soccer. Football. Soccer. Football. Basketball. 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 <coughs> Basketball. The player. Handball. 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 Tennis. 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 Yes, tennis. And this is bike. Fire bike. Ride bike. Cycling. Cycling. Uh -huh. Cycling. What about this one? Gymnast. Gymnast. <laughs> Gymnastics. 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 Well, um. Surf. 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 Surfing. Surf. What about this one? Swim. <laughs> no, no swim. Buse. Diving. Uh -huh. Diving. Buseo. Diving. Diving. Swim. Swimming. That is swimming. Uh huh. Swimming. Fish. Fish. Fishing. 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 Uh huh. Fishing. Hello. <laughs> Dancing. No. Mm. Okay. No. <laughs> ah, skate o uh, patinando. Skate. Skating. Skating. Uh -huh. yes. Skating. Híjole. <laughs> <laughs> 
güey. Paul Hogan. Claro. <risa> Weightlifting. Ese es levantamiento de pesas. Weightlifting. Weightlifting. What about this one? Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. This was ice hockey. Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Skin. Nice. Skin. Skin. Climbing. 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 Escalar. Escalar. Ajá. Escalar. Baseball. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Horse racing. It's horse racing. <sighs> <sighs> Athletics. How do you call that one? Athletics. Yes, athletics. Judo. Karate. Oh my God, what's happening here? This is judo. 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 Yes, judo. Sí. How about this one? Sí. Ajá, in Spanish, you say ajedrez. In English, we call it chess. Chess. Sí. Chess. 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 No, cheese. Cheese is the queso. queso. This is ah. chess. <laughs> Chess. Así como se ve ahí, chess. Ese es el chess. 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 Okay. That's vocabulary about some sports. Do you practice any sport? Yes, I have. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Sorry. Yes, I do. What yes, sport do you practice? I'm running. You practice swimming, Jader? No, no, running. Running. Okay, running. you practice running. Can you ask the question to another classmate? Do you practice any sport? Uh, do you practice any sport, Monica? Do you practice any sport, Carolina? Ask another classmate, Jader. Okay. Do you practice any sport, Jose Mejia? I play soccer. Yes, I do. I play soccer. Repeat. Yes, I do. I play soccer. Okay. Okay, Jose, ask the question to another classmate. Mm. What do you do for Hugo? Uh, yes, I do. I play soccer and running. Okay, very good. I play soccer and I practice running. Continue. Ask another classmate. Do you practice any sport, in Monica? Monica? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I practice. I practice basketball with myself. 
Okay, very good. Continue, Monica. Do you practice any play? Any sport. Any sport? Mm. Pedro Maravilla? Yes, I do. I play basketball. Okay, continue. There is Blanca, Gustavo, Luis. Hello. Hello. Do you practice any sport, Blanca? Yes, I do. I play basketball. Okay. As... Do you practice any sport, teacher? Mm, no, I don't. I am a coach potato. <laughs> <laughs> I just watch TV and eat potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, but now no. Okay. Now with this, we are going to go to the content and the platform. You have uh, this. We have sports and season. What are the seasons in English? Temporada. Aha, uh -huh, temporadas. So in the US, uh, people practice sports by season. Depending on the season, they practice sport. Okay, for example, in the spring, in the spring, people practice Play golf, play soccer, golf, soccer. play basketball, basketball. basketball. Uh -huh. In the summer, people play, play baseball, ball, play volleyball, volleyball, and go swimming. And go swimming. Uh -huh. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding. And go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, go ice skating, and go snowboarding. Do you play any sport by season? Yes, I play basketball. Yes, I do. Yes, okay, I, I um, you can say, for example, I like to go swimming on summer. Ajá, yeah. normalmente la gente que va a nadar lo hace en verano, ¿verdad? Yeah. Porque en invierno casi que no se puede, ¿verdad? So you can say, I go swimming on, in the summer. Ajá, uh -huh. I go swimming in the summer. Mm -hmm. And another example. Fall? Hmm? Fall. fall se refiere al otoño. 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 Se dice de dos formas. ¿Recuerdan las dos formas de decir otoño? No. no. Fall y autumn. Ajá. Autumn. Fall and autumn es otoño. Ok, can you give more examples about um, the sports you play in a specific season? No idea? Can you mention what sports are popular here in El Salvador? Football. Football. Play football. Play basketball. basketball. Baseball. Baseball. Swimming. Swimming. Volleyball. Volleyball, yes. It by bike riding. Bike riding, aha, uh -huh, is popular too. Another? Running. 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 Hiking. Pool. Another? 
Skating. Huh? Skating. skating, yes, roller skating. Uh -huh. Roller skating. And, and the walk in the park? Uh-huh, walking in the park, yes. Okay, those are some famous sports in San Salvador. Now, another thing that you will see when you go and practice in the platform is WH questions in simple present. As you remember, the WH questions are also called information questions because we need to provide information. We, you, you cannot answer yes or no. Mm -mm. For the information questions, you need to provide details information they usually start with words such as who what where when why how why okay do you remember what is who is for um king 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 uh -huh. so who refers to people what Okay. 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 Uh huh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Where? Donde. Donde. Uh -huh. It's for place. Donde. Um. When? Cuando. 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 It refers to time. Why? Por qué. Por qué. Uh huh. It asks for a reason. And how? Como. 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 De qué forma? Yes. That's right. Okay, let's make questions we do and does. Uh, because uh, this is a yes, no question. Okay, I like chocolate. How about you? Do you like chocolate? That's a yes, yes no do. question, right? Now it says I play tennis. How about you? Como haríamos una yes no question? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I. A qué se refiere cuando preguntamos what about you? De usted. Qué de ti. Y que hay de ti, ajá. It says I play tennis. What about you? Or how about you? Do you play tennis? No, I don't. Esas son yes, no questions. Simple present questions. Okay, ahora, Pablo plays tennis. How about Lucia? Yes, she, she plays, she plays tennis. Plays tennis. Mm. Does Lucia? Otra pregunta. Does Lucia play tennis? Ana, pide que, que hagamos otra pregunta también. Mm -hmm. Yes, no. otra pregunta. Aquí le está diciendo que Pablo juega tennis. How about Lucia? ¿Qué tal Lucia? ¿Qué hay Lucia? How about? Puede ser how about Lucia es una y la otra podría ser. ¿Cómo preguntaríamos? Do you play in Pablo tennis? Mm, si es Lucia tendríamos que usar otro auxiliar. Does. No do. Does, does, she, does, she play does Lucia play tennis? Yeah. Does she play tennis? Does she play tennis? Ok, esa podría ser una opción, preguntar si ella juega tenis. Does she play tennis? Ok. Ahora, otra opción podría ser qué deporte practica o qué deporte juega ella. ¿Cómo sería esa pregunta? What is for does she, she play? 
Okay. Does she play tennis? Does she play tennis? Es una yes no question. Y la otra podría ser what sport does she play? What sport does she practice? You live near here. How about your friends? ¿Cómo sería yes no question? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Estoy preguntando por los amigos. Do, do you do live friends near near do, here? Do, you, do your friends Where? live near? Do, they? do your friends live near? Near here? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Do they or do your friends? Ah. Uh, speak English. Do you speak English? Do you English? Does your brother speak English? Does your brother speak English? Does your brother speak English? Uh -huh. Does your brother or podemos decir does he? Does he? English, yes. I do yoga every morning. How about you? ¿Cómo le preguntaría a ti? ¿Cómo te preguntaría si practicas yoga? Do you do yoga every morning? Practice. Do you practice? Do you do yoga every morning? 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 So often troubles. So often travel some business. How about Paul? Queremos saber si Paul tra um, viaja um, de negocios. Does, Does Paul he travel? Does he travel? Paul often mm -hmm. travel out on, mm -hmm. on business. Does Paul or does he? Mm -hmm. Often travel on business. I want to be famous. How about you? Do you want to be famous? Correct. Ahora quiero saber si Nicole también trabaja duro. Do he work hard? Does he work hard? Does she work hard? Does she work hard? Does she work hard? Does she work hard? Excellent. Now, in this uh, exercise, we're going to make questions using the words in parentheses plus do and does, and we will have to put the words in the correct order. Ahora tienen que armar la WH question. Esta ya son information. Recuerden que la WH word va a ir al principio y luego el auxiliar do o das, luego verbo y luego complemento. Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you parent live? Okay, where do your parents live? Life. Mm -hmm. WH word, auxiliar, subject, verb. 
and probably complement in some cases. Okay. How about this one? Esta no tiene una WH word, no tiene ninguna de estas, por lo tanto, es una yes no question la que voy a armar. You always get up early. You always get up early. Do you, do you, Ajá, el auxiliar primero. Do you always get up early? Always. 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 Get up No. Do you always get up early? Uh -huh. How often do you watch TV? That is completely correct. What, what do, do you, you want for dinner? dinner? Uh, for dinner. What do you want for dinner? <coughs> do you like football? Do you brother like football? Can you repeat? Do your brother like football? Do your brother? Remember, he, she, it, we're going to use the third das. person singular, das. das. What, do you, what, do you, what do you do in your free time? Your free time? What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? What do you do and what do you do? Ask sister work. Where does your sister work? Where does your sister work? Where does your sister work? Do you do you ever go the movies? Do you ever go to Correct, that's the answer. What, what does, does this work mean? What does this word mean? Does, Does it, it snow ever here? Mm. It ever snows. Let's see who's right. Does it ever Does snow it here? Snow here. Uh -huh. What, what, what do, do you usually, usually go to go to bed? bed? Usually go to bed. Do you what time did you go to bed? Go to bed. Go to bed. What time? How much? How much? Does it cost to call Mexico? Cost to call Mexico. How much does it cost to call Mexico? Okay, that's um, what, what do you, do you usually have, 
have, have for breakfast? Usually for breakfast. What do you usually have for breakfast? Very well done. There's something similar that you come to see in the platform. In the platform, you will find a practice. This is in section five. Today, we're starting the section five. In that section, you will find simple present WH questions. Let's practice pronunciation. What sport do you play? What is what what sport do you play? play? play. Yeah. I play hockey and baseball. I play, I play hockey, hockey and baseball. baseball. Who do you play baseball with? Who do you do play baseball with? Baseball with? I play with some friends from work. I play, I play with some friends from work. Where do you play? Where, Where do, do, you play? do you play? We play at Hunter Park. We, we play, play at Hunter Park. Park. How often do you practice? How often do you practice? practice? practice. We practice once or twice a week. We practice once or twice a week. Twice a week. When, do you a week. when do you practice? When, when do you practice? Do you practice? We practice on Sundays. We practice, we practice on, practice on Sundays. 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 What time do you start? What, what time, time do you, do you start? start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. We start, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Remember that we have to follow this structure first the WH word <laughs> and then then the auxiliary do or does depending on the subject and then the subject okay after the subject you will place the main verb and probably after that you will have to write a complement so now the exercise is in your notebook, you will have to complete this conversation with the correct WH question word. Van a completar con la WH word correcta. Se pueden guiar por la respuesta. Aquí dice, soccer is my favorite. So the question is, what sport do you like to watch? Okay. Try to complete the answers in your notebook and then we're going to practice and check.
Finished. Finish. Okay, a volunteer to read the first conversation and the first answers. Pedro. Okay, Pedro, you will read the first conversation. Give us the answers, Pedro. I watch sports on TV every weekend. Really? What sports do you do you like to watch? Um, soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? That's correct. When? On Sundays afternoons. And where do you usually watch TV? At home? No. At my at, at my friend's house. He has a big TV. That's correct. Excellent job, Pedro. Thank you. Uh, volunteer for number two. I am volunteer. Okay, Gustavo, thank you. Um, how often do you go bike ride? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike ride. I go every Saturday. Really? What time? Do you go usually at about once o'clock? Um, la última parte no la no, no la logro ver. Oh, really? La letra B. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? Oh. Uh, who do you usually go with? My, okay. sis my sister. Okay. Okay, excellent. Uh, me quedó la duda. Me quedó uh -huh. la duda si está bien que le pusiera what, eh, what time do you go? No, está bien. Aquí si usted ve la pantalla tiene dos opciones. Okay. Podría decir what time tal y como lo hizo o podría decir when. What time do you usually go? Usually at about one o'clock. That's correct. Perfect. Okay, let's read the conversation just to, to practice a pronunciation. I'll put it, the whole thing here so you can read and, and pronounce. Uh, let us practice. I watch sports on TV every weekend. I watch, I watch sports on TV every day. weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Really? What what sport do you like to watch? Like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. Soccer. 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 When do you usually watch soccer? When do you, when do you usually watch soccer? Watch soccer? Watch soccer. Watch on soccer. Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? And, and where, where do you usually watch it? Watch it? Home? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big TV. No, no at the at my friend's house. He has a really, a really big, big TV. TV. How often do you go bike riding? How often do you go bike riding? Bike riding. Oh. About once a month. About oh, about once a month. month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. I, I love, love to go bike riding. Bike riding. I, I go, go, go every, every Saturday. Saturday. Really? What time do you go? 
Usually at about one o'clock. Usually, usually, usually about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister, come with us next time. My sister, come with us next time. Okay. So, with this, we finish this part of. And we already finished today's contents. This is part of the section number five. So you can start completing the exercise. Well, at least the first two exercises on section five. Okay. Remember to, um, uh, acuérdense de revisar los temas que hemos visto. Y me dicen el lunes cual quisieran que hagamos un repaso. Okay. 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 Remember, tomorrow no classes, Friday is off, so I hope you have a nice weekend and hope to see you on Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a nice weekend. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Practice sport. <laughs> I try to. I promise. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.